What's up, Ghana, Africa, to the world? You don't know. It's your boy, Enke Van, official speaking, another edition on Hood Vibe Show. I'm here and I got a surprise for you. Keep it lucky and subscribe. Before we go, if you are watching this, you have to subscribe because I have one talent from Volta and we're promoting this to the world. Give it up for Helebe on the beat and on the song. <laughs> What's up, big man? The name, no, I get them correct. Helebe, yeah. Yeah, like, it be Ewe or how? Yeah, it be Ewe. My son name, actually. More people think it be like nickname or something like that. My son name. That be a son name? Yeah. So why you pick the same name of so like the whole family name? I mean like that be how like that's how people call me. Hello, be hello, be hello. Be. So you just continue with it. Hello, be. Okay, let's go. You are a producer and at the same time a musician. Yeah. Let's talk about production first. How did you start this business of production? Okay, let me see. The production is in the club. Music and emphasize is in the club. Okay. I started playing the keys like since so so mm -hmm. since after SHF me like that was when my mind came like I was you play beats like this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah so uh, 2018. That be when so you started. you officially started this in 2018. 2018 yeah. So now yes. the music to 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So from 2018 to now, how how has the journey been like? Oh it hasn't been easy. Man. <laughs> Can you point out some challenges you've met on the way? Okay, music on the only challenge be like promoting your own stuff, like getting it there, like where you want it to be. Yeah, like that be really which challenge. channel, which channel have you used or have you tried to promote? Have you tried using to promote your, your music before? Oh, as for the underground artists, especially voter guys, like like there's not much here, like. Uh -huh. As compared to like a crowd, the figure uh -huh, can get links to like people and stuff. So, like, you just put that in you know, as an upcoming artist, there you have to just do your stuff and let your music speak for you, you know, unless you have money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you see, you are, we are just going straight for straight for so we just go. You have a song with Kenny Eyes. Yeah. How did you link up with Kenny Eyes? Did Kenny Eyes call you, or how, how did that collaboration come about? Okay, I'll be like. I they produce Chief One, like the Chief One Bobo, Bo, Bo, like those okay. songs. So, like from there, you know, so he contacted Chief One. Okay. And he took my number from Chief One. So he called me one time, he said, oh, he just want me to play some beats. So, that time, this, uh, you see the drill, like, yeah. yeah. So that time, the drill, like, was on top. So, like, he said, oh, he wanted to do, like, a drill kind of song, like that. So, like, play the beat. And I sang So the initial idea no be saying we they can't do song with me, I will sing okay. for the song. Yeah. So as I send on the beat like that, you know, like it seems he's new to the drill and stuff. So he later chat me the evening that so make a lay I he listen to my songs. Like yeah, yeah. I dropped some EP last uh, then the time he started the vibe said so also my EP be cool and stuff. So he later can chat me so make I just send out some voice note of like idea, any idea. I mean when they play the beat we, one time if you have Creating a beat like I guess we come for you yourself. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You know, I just send out voice note of like any idea, and then I guess. Then I did have the la copy the name. Like, I don't want to make you give the first answer of that song. Okay. The hammer, now she becker, now she becker, the book of money, hammer free, the hammer free, who never told my day gaga, my day gaga. I want to blow, I want to blow. Uh, did, money, yeah, uh, did did Kini tell you the concept of the song before you came up with this? No, no, there was no concept of the song. I just sent him that voice. It was like, uh, if you guys make, I just cry record down there. I sent him. Okay. So I came here, I recorded that chorus. I do it. Yeah. And I sent him. So like weeks later, after he can't tell me, no, he said give me management. You know? He said if I keep my like my own like that, no, yeah. yeah so like. By force, by force, I think the song for the song. Yeah. But, but how did that song pave the way for you? Do you think that song paved any way for you to the uh, Oh, yeah, sure. Aspects? Every single song I dropped paved the way for me. Bro. Yeah, but the song with Kimi and Gassan, they like made me 
exposed me more. Like, yeah, people were put like, hey, Charlie, this guy, like, huh, that kind of stuff. So, like, it made that song made people know me as a musician, not like the production mm-hmm. aspect. People already know me plenty, but like, hey, like, y'all, baby, the huh, people know me as like, the producers, like, Tifuan, Bobo, Boris, Mecca, Mola, and then they made you those Tifuan songs. Then they produce more of their boys for the town, huh? So, people already know me like a producer. Mm-hmm. So, if they're teeny eyes in song, they would put some acts where they do music, so they do their huh, like, yeah, that's it. You have a, a single out yourself. Yeah. What is your title? That's a uh, never give up. Never give up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I saw a video where a uh, young girl was vibing okay. on it. Yeah. Okay, that one is a different song. Which that is, uh, that was the first. It way like first now we do the way stuff. I mean, this Nigerian kind of okay. singing. Yeah. Okay. So that was my first first. Uh, not if one they advise me to. Uh, Make a try to do something for like the voter. Yeah. So the Bevu song was like my first, 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 first thing. Something where they drop from there. Kinney, like, they feel like Kinney did drop there. So Kinney here, they like, like, put that little song before and then drop the first thing. Just put it down like normal, like five months later before. Like, I feel this young girl. Okay, you said earlier on, you said uh, you were initially you were doing the, uh, mostly you were doing the. Nigerian stuff. Do you yeah. have any Nigerian background? No. So, I guess like, but you sing like a Nigerian. Yeah. Like Why? I feel like Nigerian music is better. Like that's personal music. Mm-hmm. Nigerian music. It's not easy to blow with Nigerian kind of music, but like if you blow plus Nigerian type music, there, yeah, like where it will take you the Ghana music will keep take you there at all. Okay. You know, I see the Ghana boy, the fat right. like, You we'll say small boy Nigerian musician come. Like a year later, no, it's bigger than the sack of it. We have in Ghana, like years, years back. It's the music that like, Nigerians let the music speak for them. Yeah. So, do you, do you choose um, their style of music because of the genre of music you do, the Afro beat you do? Oh, yeah, sure. That, that's why you pick mm-hmm. that particular genre. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, how did you blend production and uh, musician? You produce yourself, right? So how do you feel when you produce yourself, and how do you feel when someone else produce your music? Okay, nobody produced me before. Though. Okay. I always produce myself. So all your songs, you play, your whole EP was produced by yourself. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's that's good. To, do you have any intention that one day someone will produce you? Oh yeah, sure. I blew her, surely, surely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of the small small Nigerians where they come up, almost eighty percent of them be producers themselves. Right? They just started doing their own thing, playing my own music. So if you get there, the producers will approach you then so that the big time producers will be charge you. Know. It's like you look up to the Nigerians most. What do you think yeah, sure. is in the Nigerian music industry that Ghanaians don't have? That's setting us back. Okay, Nigerians don't. Let me see. Personally, Nigerians know they look for a hit song. Okay. They just do good music. But Ghana are steady. People have talent, people can do like music, good music. But, like they are looking for hit songs. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm doing now because I'm a Ghanaian, so I did a blood so I put my vibe aside and I'm doing the away do stuff. And I can see like it's paying off somehow. Mm-hmm. It's paying off. Ghanaians, the problem is with the listeners, they don't want that type of music. Like, Ghana we did, they want Ghana music. Mm-hmm. I'll be on that time. So if, let's say somebody they votarians they, they want voter music, they know they want anything else. It'd be, be cool though, like that's the love they have for like where they are. But like I feel say like if we start talking about like this, Nigeria, like, not Nigerian per se, like music, good music, Afro beats. If we start listening, like Ghana will really go far. Yeah. Far. yeah. Since you do most more of uh, uh, the Nigerian stuff or your streaming sites, do Nigeria when you check the geographical, uh, uh, I'm sure they have a geographical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you check, do Nigerians stream more? Or do you <laughs> still see Ghanaians streaming more? Okay, last time I checked, did like Ghana, Ghanaians be like 80%. Then like Nigerians like 15% or something. Yeah. So you still get more still love get from Ghana. more love from Ghana, yeah, sure. Hey, that one, yeah. <laughs> What's up? This is Hood Vibe Show. I'm here with Helek Bear. This is NK. 
and Charlie we vibe and subscribe here and hit the post notification bell and be notified anytime we release a video. Now let's talk about your hairstyle. You know what I want to talk about your hairstyle? It's nice. Is it do you feel like doing it or is it because of the space in which you are? Because some people do their hairstyle because of the space, not because of the, the love they have for you. Oh no, it's just hairstyle. It's just baba like the whole thing. Okay. Since, uh, from, from, from your response, it feels like you don't want to talk about the hairstyle. So let's talk well, about obviously, the hairstyle. Obviously, I don't want to talk about it. But like, hairstyle, like, you have a style. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not about it. See, everybody wants to look good. So, like, uh -huh. you do, have you ever met someone who, who tried to criticize you because of your hairstyle? Oh, yeah, sure. People tell you, Charlie, go papa, go papa. Uh -huh. Those kind of stuff. So, like, how do you feel? How do you take it? Oh, I just, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Especially, like, the other people. So far as my parents are okay with it. Mm. They support this kind of hairstyle. I mean, my dad has plenty there, so he's the same. It's oh. like he's grown up to be strong with them. Okay. And they support your musical career as well? Not 100%. Not 100%. But they they <laughs> <laughs> um, you are. Okay, I want to put this question this way. Either. From educational background, where, where, where are you right now? Because the last time I saw some. Are you supposed to be in school now? Or? Yeah, sure. I suppose it's school. Uh, but flop, do you flop the school or do you skip the school for music? Or no, I didn't stop the school for music. But but, like, yeah. if you are somewhere that you are comfortable with, like, means that's where you're supposed to be. So, so. It's not like I know they're comfortable for school. They school that day, I still did. You say, it keeps more than one class. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps more okay. So, okay. So, talking of collaborations, you did some collaborations earlier. So now, who do you want to collaborate with? Talking of Ghana, then if we take out to Africa, so let's talk about Ghana first. Who is that particular person out there in the next two, three, five years you want to collaborate with? Okay, Ghana. <laughs> Probably. Sako mm. yeah, because it's one of the biggest African. Mm. And in Africa, let me see, Fireboy. Fireboy. Yeah, Fireboy. Okay. Okay, Fireboy. Yeah. Do you do you, do you think I do you think you look like or some have someone ever told you look like Fireboy? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think it's one of the best musicians in the world. Best musicians in the world. So we want to collaborate with you. So Fireboy and Sack. Yeah. Okay. You see the uh, creative art space, the music space, yeah. uh, from Volta region, um, yeah, from Volta region, from artists from Volta region, talking of the Stone Boys, the Adams we have, yeah. uh, your genre of music or your style of music has been missing for long, yeah. you know, day for long, and if you bring them back or if you, they do on current, okay. do you have any intention of keeping it, uh, like you said, the dance are loving it. So do you have the intention of keeping it or you will be if you blow then go to the style you want? Oh no 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 I'm surely keeping it. Music, like say you ask me say like what genre of music do I do? Mm -hmm. I can't say like music is music. I'm a producer. I'm not like artist way I go get song for house, then I come to studio. I go fit it here right now then any vibe yeah, so I can do trap, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. But the whole time Star on the day, I will surely make it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before we go, we want to take your social media handles uh, so that your fans who watch this will follow your social media handles. I'm sure from this, you will get a new fan. Oh yeah, sure. Who will share your stars to get a new fan? Yeah. So give out your social media. Okay, handles. everywhere it's uh, hell again. A G I R L E R G. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Instagram. Everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. So you follow him. Subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. One of the dopest from Volta region, taking out to Africa and to the world as large. This is a show for Africa. This is a show for the world as well. Keep it locked and subscribe. I'm out.